What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Get Lifestyle, where we get money, enjoy life, and travel. And today's video topic is going to be, I'm moving. Now I know you might be asking where I'm moving from, where I'm gonna be moving to, and I'm gonna go ahead and get into that right now. So I currently reside in California, in the Central Valley, and I'm actually going to be moving to Brazil. Now I know you might say, why Brazil? Well, a couple of reasons. Um, back when I was in the Navy, uh, I had a friend, well, I still have a friend that moved to Brazil in 2018. And basically he's been in my ear talk, telling me about how great Brazil is and, you know, come out there, bro, when you get out the Navy. And he, he's been in my ear for a couple of years, you know what I'm saying? So in uh, fast forward to uh, December of 2020, when I got out, he, um, he invited me down and I actually made my way there in February. That's, that's what my first visit was. So he basically, uh, showed me around Sao Paulo, you know, he showed me out around Sao Paulo. And then after that, we went to, uh, Rio de Janeiro. So I got, I got down to Rio, had a great time. Um, and this is actually my, that was actually my second time there. Um, because you know, way back in the Navy, that was my first port visit was Rio de Janeiro, uh, way back in 2008. And so now 2021 of February of this year was my second time actually going there. And, um, this is what I can say about, uh, traveling, um, in the military. Being in the military, you you travel to a lot of places. And there's a lot of things that you're not allowed to do. You know, as a service member, there's a lot of districts and a lot of different places that you're not allowed to go. Um, they, they just don't want service members going there because, you know, obvious danger concerns and there's just certain activities and stuff like that they don't, don't want you to get involved with. So that's why the restrictions are there. But going back to this country as a civilian, I got to experience the country ungated and I got to experience it at its full potential. So that basically put Brazil on a whole new playing field for me. I, like I said, I got, I got to experience the country uh, without zero restrictions. And it just made me be like, damn, like I can just picture myself living here you know what I'm saying? This is a dope city. You know, the city of Rio de Janeiro is dope. Uh, you know, I love the, the weather, love the women, love the scenery. You know, um, I was just like, man, I, I could actually see myself living here. So um, I've been toying with that idea since January of this year. Um, and even more so now that I've been out there a couple of times this year. So, um, the reason I, that I've actually been out there, uh, two additional times this year is because I did meet a girl out there. I want to go ahead and, uh, be upfront about that. I met a girl out there in February when I went back for the second time and I actually, uh, went back in June and then I went back again in September and for both of those visits, I stayed about 20 days plus just shy of a month. So I have a pretty good gauge of what Brazil is going to be like on a daily basis if I were to actually move there. So um, that's that's one re reason that that, uh, that I'm going to move there uh, because because I've liked what I've seen so far from the country, you know, unrestricted. So um, the second reason is uh, that I think I've already mentioned this. Is the you know the scenery, you know the the uh, mountains, great. I love it. You know there's mountains, there's beaches. You know I don't have to drive anywhere to see any of that. Um, there's there's mountains, there's beaches around here where I live in California, in the Central Valley, Hanford, California to be exact. But um, I feel like Rio has all of that close by. Obviously I can drive to see that stuff here. There's Pismo Beach, which is which is an hour and some change up the road. You know what I'm saying? I can go I can go see Pismo Beach if I want to go see a beach. 
And um, there's also Yosemite National Park and Sequoia National Park. If I want to go see mountains, if I want to go see trees. Um, but it just doesn't beat Brazil for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's another reason. The next reason is the tropical climate. I, I love the weather down there. One thing that I think is going to take some getting used to is months here in California that's cold. It's hot there. You know, like right now, right now, it's it's very hot there. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's definitely going to be quite an adjustment for me to make. But a simple adjustment, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely not a deal breaker. Um, the next reason is, you know, I love the women. Um, the, the women there, I mean, to, to be honest, I, I'll, I'll be honest, like, you know, Brazilians look like you know there's brazilians that look like me there's brazilians that that are white brazilians that are black brazilians that look like you know puerto ricans and mexicans and brazil's really one of those cities where if if you didn't know where you were you know what i'm saying you wouldn't you wouldn't really think twice about you know oh do these people look look brazilian you know what i'm saying it, it's just it's just one of those cities where where everybody blends in together and you going there as a foreigner blend in with the population. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that comes up to you, you know, and tries to engage with engage in conversation with you. They already think, you know, Portuguese because, you know, there's a wide variety of people uh, there of different complexions and different skin tones. So you really don't know. You really don't know who's Brazilian, to be honest. In, in my opinion, so that, that's not that's another reason I'm going to move there, is because I don't stick out as a foreigner there, you know what I'm saying? Versus me being somewhere else, I'm pretty sure there's other places like that in the world, but Brazil um, is just one of those countries that that's pre pretty much got my heart. Uh, so that, that that's another reason that I do want to move there. Um, the next reason being is. Uh, better quality of life can be had because the U.S. dollar there goes a lot further than it does here. Um, pretty much uh, the rate is pretty much almost five to one, you know, or may maybe five and a half to one. I, I haven't checked the exact exchange rate uh, recently, but I know that the American dollar goes further out there and it's about five to one, five hay ice to one U.S. dollar. So to me, uh, a better quality of life is definitely to be had out there versus other places. And um, like I said, man, Brazil, um, Brazil is, I think is the place for me. Uh, to some people, these might seem like surface level reasons to move to a country. And you know, there might be, there's also other things to consider, like, you know, the government, um, you know, how's the government treating their people, you know, how is safety, you know, and this, this and that and the third, which are reasons to consider or to not, you know, or to not move to another country, you know what I'm saying? Based off of those factors, but the reasons I've chose are good enough for me. And, um, if I don't like it, I know that I can always move back, hit the undo button, move back or move to somewhere else that is not you know, in Brazil or not here in the States, you know, I got citizenship here. This is my home. I can always come back here, you know, if things don't work out or if I don't like it. So I think that's even more of a reason to just go ahead and move there in the first place. I've already been there three times this year. Uh, can't stop watching YouTube videos about Copacabana beach and Ipanema beach. And, uh, you know, I want to get back to my lady out there and stuff like that. I want to have a better quality of life. I want a new environment. I want to have, you know, new experiences, learn a new language, you know, get new friends and the whole shebang, have a brand new life. So those are my reasons for wanting to move to Brazil. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did go ahead and give it a like, maybe even subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more content that has to do with traveling and just living your best life getting money, enjoying life and traveling. 
So um, with that being said, I'm also gonna go ahead and post my Instagram uh, account in the description box below. So you guys can go there and you can check me out when I'm not traveling, when I'm, you know, just posting memes, you know, being silly. It's a, it's a way for you guys to see who I am off camera. So if you found this video valuable, share it with somebody that's thinking the same thing, or if they don't even want to move to Brazil, just share it with them. And hopefully this video can encourage them or you to go ahead and make that move. So with that being said, I'm gone. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a great day.